you know, wherever, yes. here. Uh, if, I'll hang on to this piece if you want to. Hold it. though I don't mind this one I like that a lot too oh yeah that's that's aggressive you know it's just not carbon fiber for 1600 it's 490 we're gonna wrap the whole thing aren't we yeah there you go doesn't matter cut open it doesn't have the louvers here And then I seen these. I think the old man's got a DC up in the house. A what? The old man's got a DC up in there, Dyko. No. You don't have any pops. 
this is what you know for the box and the side skirts yes and then front end I kind of like this yeah. but we got I like the white one in the front box mounts I don't know where they're gonna end up being but we'll cut the frame off and then we'll weld this to the frame this will go up to your rocker panels I'd like to just buy this whole setup comes without the rear end though I think uh, I don't know if this is heavy duty enough or we'll look around at PRI though and see what's available down we're getting pretty close though to setting it on the jig once we get those wings put on there for the tires and go from there quick recap what did we do today well, we took the exhaust out the spare tire out we took the gas tank out we stripped all the lines and all the wiring out of it went down the inside took the wiring out of the engine compartment Call it, a, call it a day. Yeah. So we got to clip these corners off here. Because with this mount, as you can see, they hit. It doesn't put it through its full range of motion. You're good. Christmas a little brighter this year. Yeah, Cass County Sheriff's Department is buildable. Okay, we can come back. Go down. We will also be at lights on the time. Back. So slow down. Okay, go ahead. I'm in. Now it's got to go down. On this Are side. you in? He's talking to you, Dad. Are you in? You're in between the grooves. Is that side still in? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Try putting both in. What do you think, Dad? Pardon me? How'd it go? Great. It looks awesome. Can't wait to see it running. Step two. We got the motor in. Now we can put the transmission in. So we were a little skeptical about uh, converting from our old band saw to a chop saw style saw, but a buddy of mine told me uh, I wouldn't be disappointed if I went and got one of these style cutting tools. And I'll tell you what, I really can't complain about this slugger. It sure makes it cut like butter. We're whittling away on getting the chassis, plate, jig, whatever you want to call it, set up. We're, uh, we just added the what we're going to call wings onto it, where we're going to set the tires and stuff. But here is a uh, look of where we're at so far. We have a few more braces and structural support things to do to it, but here's where we're at. This will be for the rear tires. We got those put on there. We're gonna add some support beams from here down to the frame to keep them from flexing. Right now they, they have a little bit of flex. Here's the front, we did that last night. 
Uh, we got to put those on there. These are bent down a little bit. We're going to jack up on them and level them up and then weld the support brackets in them. But yeah, it's coming along. We'll uh, show you the final results when we're done welding her all up.